Hey guys, SK here, back with another Clash Royale video. Hope you guys are rolling well. In today's video, I'm once again on top ladder pushing with Expo Cycle, and I'm going to be going for top 1000 in the entire world. So, guys, I know that my last ladder push video was with 3.0 Expo Cycle, and I'm sorry to say, but I'm just going to have to switch to Bomber Bow, this version with the Evil Bomber Evo Tesla, because quite simply, archers are not cutting it. They are so bad in the meta, I swear. Every single person I play against is running arrows, and 3.0 Expo is just so bad in the meta. Like, this Expo Bomber deck is infinitely better, so I really just don't have a choice, I feel. Um, obviously, I could, I feel like if I really set my mind to it, I could perform well with 3.0, but again, I just want to take the decision that's best for me, and I don't want to cause too much stress or time wasted on myself, because I am also really busy with the university, and I can't really, like, just afford to play the entire weekend uh pushing so i'm going to be playing with bomber bow and i'm at about 2500 right now i'll be going for 2600 plus on ladder which should be about top 1000 there's uh, roughly three days left in the season so you know there's a fair amount of time we'll see what we can do gonna bomber for this mk skellies to cut this bandit all the way down low i can actually just fireball those minions as well and this should be pretty good uh, perfect defense of that band as well and really good situation actually right now i'm not going to log by the way he's going to wall breakers so i'm going to wait and hold on to my log there we go perfect call i had a feeling like i definitely could have logged the guards but i just knew he was going to go for the wall breakers so that's why i waited does go for the zap i think he's at zero elixir right now so i'm going to go for the bomber at the bridge as well and this should be a guaranteed tower hit because he's very low in elixir and doesn't have anything good in cycle yep so very nice early lead a eureka i don't I kind of recognize this. I mean, it's MK Wallbreakers, of course. I have a really good friend. He's from Italy. His name is Levi, and he's a top letter MK Wallbreakers player. I think, like, this guy has the same symbols in his name as Levi, so maybe they're good friends. Uh, but this isn't the Levi that I know. Nonetheless, Mega Knight Wallbreakers should be a relatively decent matchup, I think. Um, especially with the bomber over the archers, because, again, literally everyone is playing arrows. What did I tell you guys? I'm into my match right now, and I'm pretty sure this guy has arrows in this deck. So imagine if I had archers, and wow, why is the firecracker, okay, that's so dumb. I literally went knight on the right side of the expo with the full intention of not letting the firecracker target that entire side. If I went knight in the middle to help the Tesla attack the Mega Knight, then obviously it would have defended the Mega Knight better, but it would have taken the firecracker's targeting. So I don't know why it just got screwed over like that by the firecracker, but anyways. Gonna go for my Evo Tesla, guys. Gonna be so satisfying right here. Uh, just gonna be so good on defense, I feel. So gonna knight to protect it, of course. As it pops up, it's gonna stun the bandit, and I just really love Evo Tesla. Like, it's one of my favorite cards in the entire game, and when it first came out, I was of the opinion that it's really good, but it's gonna be a little bit uh, bad, considering it's two cycles. But I've really kind of changed my mind at this point, because it's just so strong and synergizes so well. Also, what did help is that they did actually nerf Evo Skellies, which were so strong before. Basically a guaranteed uh, pick in Expo Cycle back then. But now it's pretty much worth it to go for the Evo Tesla over the Evo Skellies. Whether you're playing this Bomber Bow deck I'm playing, or whether you're playing 3 Expo Cycle as well. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have a pretty good situation. It looks like this guy has the Firecracker, and I don't think he has... Okay, he does have the Miner, never mind. I was gonna say, I don't think he has a Miner. I was proven wrong right at that moment. Gonna Knight as well for this, uh, newly spawned Breaker. We are still winning right now. I think, okay, with, since he does have a Miner, it's actually not like a super free matchup, but I still think it's pretty good for me. Uh, I'm gonna Fireball the Firecracker. Great uh, timing overall. Evo Tesla is in the building. As you can see, it stopped that bandit dash. Beautiful. Just going to bomber for the miner. Really nice. See, like, if I had uh, archers there, it would have been one more elixir for pretty much the same outcome, and he also could have gotten more spell value on it. So, pretty good situation overall. Going to E-Spirit to kill the guards. Log E-Spirit does kill guards, guys. Very nice little interaction. And I might have to fireball this, but... I actually rather not. I'm just going to stack Teslas. You'll see that one thing I've been abusing in this matchup is the Tesla, where I'm just stacking multiple of them because, quite frankly, the the opponent here cannot do anything about that. Okay, wow, that is a really bad situation. Oh my God, Evil Firecracker might ruin my entire career. Let me Tesla real quick. Oh no. Okay, that's going to get on the tower. Wow, this got really sus, really fast. I was doing so well, but that's definitely a fireball though. And this miner I can basically ignore actually because that's not the lane I need to defend. Uh, he should be concerned about getting damage in the right, so really not worried about that miner. Gonna get my Evo Tesla on the board. You can see I've cycled maybe like three of them over the course of this game. It's been going pretty well, just Evo Tesla cycling. 
and uh, it's going to stun the MK in his tracks. Just going to E-Spirit, Skelly's Tesla for this Miner. I'm going Tesla because if he goes for like a Zap or something on the Skeletons, then at least the Tesla will take the targeting. And oh, Breakers, oh my god, I almost just lost to those Breakers. If they connected, I definitely would have lost. I was not ready for that, I'm not going to lie. Thankfully, I was able to react in time and defend, so he gets a good game. Uh, I'll give him the good luck because he's being a good sport. Really nice first one against Mega Knight Wall Breakers. Again, I do feel like Bomber is much better than Archers in this matchup and in many matchups, so... Uh, pretty good situation. Didn't, you, didn't abuse it to hit the tower yet. I'll probably be doing that quite a bit in today's video, guys, because that's what the Evo Bomber is good for. Uh, but still, it's just such a strong card. That's going to be 2,500. Again, I'm going for top 1k, so let's keep going. Alright, guys, so in a game against Aimbot 3.0. Pretty... Okay, I don't know why he's BMing on the first, like, 5 seconds of the match, or maybe that's just not even BM, I guess. But I'm going to log the Ice Spirit. Okay, guys, great reaction time by me. Totally hit that Ice Spirit and avoided any kind of tower damage with that log. Just going to fireball the Firecracker. And Ice Spirit Firecracker looks like Hoggy Q if I had to take a first guess. Yup, there's the Hog plus Knight. Going to go for my Tesla and the Knight like this. I might have to E-Spirit as well, yeah, in case he goes Earthquake, because I need to hold the Hog in the middle. Just in case he would have EQ'd, then I would have taken a bunch of damage. So we'll defend that just fine. I've actually not played this matchup before, I don't think, guys. Like, Bomber Bow against Hoggy Q, I don't think I've played it. Um, I don't think it should be too different from 3.0, but I want to say maybe Archers are better in this matchup. Like, you can split them, you can use them to support better on offense, on defense as well, but Bomber does have the one benefit of being able to be used on offense, which uh, can help. Like, it's a mini win con, because you can get quite a lot of value. Gonna go for my high Tesla and Knight. You'll notice, guys, even though he has a Knight tanking for his Hog, because of my timing and placement, I was able to get the Tesla on top of the Hog first, as well as get that uh, all taken care of, even though the Knight was getting, like, the towers tanking. Wow, he outcycled me. I'm gonna have to go for an Evo Tesla. Very unfortunate, because it really does suck to see my Evo Tesla get wasted like that, um, but he's really just been spamming and outcycling me, and that is one thing these Hog players always do against you when you're playing Expo, so... You just have to defend sometimes. On another note, if you guys do enjoy the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. I recently just hit 35k subscribers, which has been really nice. On that note, I actually do have to make my 35k sub special announcement pretty soon. Uh, but I have been working pretty hard, you know, balancing content and university, so just any kind of support would be much appreciated. Uh, we are slowly but surely grinding and getting up there. Gonna activate King off this firecracker. Yeah, we will get the activation. Gonna have to eastward as well because I messed up the timing. Okay. And he actually overcommitted quite a lot to that expo, honestly. I did go um, Knight to predict the Tesla, but he went like Knight, Tesla, and Firecracker. So he spent more than me. Yeah, he spent 10, I spent 9, so definitely worth it. Just going to pre-Tesla. Honestly, it's really hard to break through, though. Like, I don't know how I can really break through. going to have to Bomber here for sure. Otherwise, we do those Evo Skellies could really uh, be devastating. And wow, he has a Poison instead of an Earthquake. Okay, that's interesting. Yo, look at the Bomber, though. Double Bounce killing the Firecracker. Really would love a mini lock right now, but no, he just has so much spam and he can just defend. So Poison, I am actually tempted to say makes it worse than Earthquake for me, guys. Like, I'm not even joking, because he can get a lot of value on every Expo with the Poison. Expo plus Tower. And it's just going to be a huge pain to deal with that. He also just cycles a Poison on my Tower right now, which is super annoying. Um, but I will try and punish that with an Expo right now. Gonna go in the right, because he might expect me to go in the left, so just trying to keep him... Uh, on his toes, gonna skeleton as well to protect this bomber, maybe get a mini counter push. Goes for a low Tesla, that's interesting. Bomber should get a hit, no, goes for the knight. I'm gonna hover my Tesla in case he goes for like a hog rider. Yeah, I will Tesla for that, Evo Tesla will definitely shut that down. And I think I can go for a second expo pretty soon, because I have a nice little dual lane pressure opportunity right now. Yeah, definitely gonna go for that, Evo Tesla's gonna pop up. Oh, I have to bomber for those skellies, oh god. Uh, okay, they didn't really do too much, and we are gonna get a mini lock. Thank God, guys. Okay, that was really good dual lane pressure again. He does go for the late poison. I'll just fireball back, to be honest with you, um, because I can't allow him to get ahead in damage. And I would have loved to get more of that sequence, but I mean, we're still up by one spell right now. And the fact is, he doesn't have a champion, like a Mighty Miner or a Little Prince. So if I defend well... Oh, perfect prediction, by the way, guys. Like, I usually pre-Tesla in this matchup, and sometimes they go and try and attack your Tesla like that. Like, they go Tesla on yours, or Knight, for example. Okay, please don't get a hog hit. Oh, okay, that was really close. Wow, that was really close. I thought it was going to take a hit. Uh, that was a clutch, I guess, but... Uh, thankfully, I protected it and predicted well, so it's going to end up working out very nicely for me. I'm going to go for my Tesla right about now. Oh, wow, he predicts it with his own. That is unfortunate. Let me Knight E-Spirit. Oh, this is going to be bad. 
Whoa, wait, guys, that is... Oh, my God, that's funny. He's giving the wow. Yeah, like, I can't believe the hog went all the way to the expo from that position. Like, I could have sworn the Tesla died fast enough to the point where I would not have pulled the hog. And, wow, that was a huge misclick. Let's pretend that was a proper expo. But I guess it can still be considered a defensive expo. He poisons. I'm just going to fireball again. I mean, the expo is helping out as a defensive expo, technically. But, yeah, that was meant to be offensive, obviously. Just going to go for a high Tesla once more. Let's try and predict his Tesla with my knight again. Just keep my Tesla alive. Yup, perfect. As you can see, like, I kind of have... I'm kind of reading this guy uh, really well. Oh, no, please. I can't I can't take a hit after Tesla. I, I just can't take a hit. Uh, we got the Firecracker, too. Very nice. He gives a wow. That's going to be a good game, guys. We're up by, like, 700. And I'm just going to get a second fireball on the tower just for safe measures. So, really nice win against Hog Poison. I think I just controlled the game very well. Honestly, it was a bit scary at times, but just good defense, good pressure at the right times, and going opposite lane to pressure to force out either a response or the poison, so you couldn't get poison value on my weak side tower and expo. Worked out very well. He's spamming well. Maybe he's upset about that, but I'm pretty happy with that win. I'll definitely take that. That's going to be another nice win. Let's keep the ladder push going. All right, guys. Funny game against Jamie, too. I feel like I... I feel like that means something, like Jamie too. I don't, I, I don't know what it is. I just feel like it means something. He was a good game, okay, dude. I, I know, I actually recognize his clan. I'm pretty good friends with someone who is in this clan, but I do not know who this guy is. I'm definitely not tying him. I don't know why he said good game. Okay, pump. I'm just gonna fireball. Uh, Skelly King pump is most likely gonna be E Golem, which is actually a really bad sign, guys. I really dislike E Golem, so. Uh, this is going to be kind of annoying, honestly. Um, I'll expo. This is a bit aggressive, but. I feel like it should be okay, because I have a bomber counter pushing. Oh, it's Golem. Okay. It's not E-Golem. I'm actually, I'm actually uh, happier about that. I'd much rather face Golem than E-Golem, and I know that's kind of weird to say, like, wow, why do you actually want to face Golem? You guys might be thinking, but honestly, this Expo deck is pretty good against Golem. Like, I have a pretty good track record. I don't think I've lost against it too much yet. Gonna knight for the bomber. Gonna E-Spirit for the, all those bats, and as you can see, like, E-Spirit is just so clutch in this deck, because it's so good against bats. It's so good against any kind of swarm gives a well played i guess that was i mean that wasn't even too hard of a defense like i know what i'm doing obviously with my micro it was all on point but it wasn't like anything special you know we'll get a nice double bounce on the right honestly guys evil bomber the way they nerfed it was low-key a buff because now even if it hits the tower it's gonna get a double bounce uh he's he, he pumps i'm gonna go expo quite honestly because i want to get a nice connection get a knight as well and we do block the night which successfully very nice evil bomber terrible placement gonna e-spirit just for that gonna get a nice lock calls a good game gonna call it back i think he's screwed now if he goes like skelly king i'll block it with a bomber um oh wow okay e drag i was not expecting that but terrible bats honestly um i'll bomber i guess oh okay that was a misplay actually i thought that i had something in cycle to uh defend the e drag but turns out i didn't i'm just gonna expo guys i'm like 90 percent sure he doesn't have enough for a golem right now it's pretty risky but yeah i was right he just went skelly king so i was correct in that uh, calculation. I'm gonna go for my Esprit for all these bats plus Night Witch, and then I can log all of this. And this should be another connection, I think. Yep, we got him. Beautiful. So really good pressure. Now all I have to do is just defend this final Golem push, which might be tricky considering I'm down a lot of elixir. Yeah, he goes Golem when I'm at eight, so I'm down two. Plus he has that pump on the board, so I'm down maybe like four or five realistically. But I should still be fine as long as I play well. And I'm pretty confident. I think I can defend pretty well with this deck again. We have good resources. Bomber's very good, much better than Archer's for sure uh, against these Golem pushes. And uh, I can get a good Fireball if I need to. I can get back to a second Fireball, which I definitely will, I think, when I have to. Also, Esprit, again, is so good against all these bats being accumulated. Definitely going to have to Fireball all of that. Let me just take that right now. Thank you very much. Get my Evo Tesla down. Look at that beautiful Pulse just going to work on everything. Gonna go for my knight up high, back to an e-spirit, beautiful defense, literally zero damage taken, I think, and that is how you do it, guys. This deck, again, does pretty well against Golem, but still, guys, clean defense. Oh, wow, he's like, okay, he's getting the CRL, I don't know why, he's like mad, but, I mean, I'll just laugh back, like, bro, kind of got destroyed in that game. I was gonna be a good sport, but he just wants to BM, so, we'll definitely take that one, too. Alright, guys, found a game against this, I think, Arabic player, I don't know what that name means, or how, how to pronounce it. Um, but we'll see what we can do in this game. Gonna cycle a bomber first play. Okay, wall breakers. Unfortunately, I think the bomber walks up so slowly that it's not gonna help out. Yeah, we're gonna take one wall breaker hit. I did not want to waste a log though, honestly. I don't know if that's a misplay. Okay, wall breakers arrows. Could be Mega Knight wall breakers again, to be honest. Um, we'll see. I'm gonna at the back just to cycle. Mighty Miner. Okay. I'll just Tesla for it. I don't know what this deck is actually. Like maybe some kind of uh, drill 
Wallbreaker's deck. I mean, Drill is everywhere right now. It's pretty broken. Gonna e spirit to reset this Mighty Miner real quick. And just make sure it dies. And then I'm actually gonna expo because I want to activate off that firecracker if I can. Let's see what we can do. Oh, recruits. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna log bomber for this. I'm gonna sack those wall breakers and just activate King off the firecracker. Then I'll go e spirit to help out against all of this as well. And honestly, guys, that was a pretty good sequence. Look at that beautiful bomber bounce. We're gonna get, yeah, like a few hundred damage at least. Gonna knight to protect my bomber. Oh no, I reacted too late. That would have been such a good play if I got the knight in front, but unfortunately I messed up, so that's my bad, guys. Like, he would have had to go gang on top of the bomber, um, and it would have been much worse for him. But anyways, I think I could expo, honestly. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm gonna expo, guys. Maybe at like eight or so. Um, well, I, I wanna go in when he doesn't have enough for the recruits yet he's not back to it cycle wise so goes for the mighty okay hear me out guys i'm gonna go bomber and skellies i'm gonna log as well and i'm just gonna e-spirit on the skelly barrel like that was kind of big improvisation in the moment but you'll notice that because i did not waste a log on the skeleton barrel i was actually able to get a huge lock instead and i was still able to like manage my cycle pretty well because i was able to e-spirit on the skelly barrel by cycling, even though it was nowhere near my current cycle. Gonna expo at 7, because I have enough for the Evo Bomber. If he goes gang, I can bomber on it, and that should be a nice connection. Notice I didn't expo at 6, because if he went gang when I went expo at 6, it would have, you know, countered the entire expo. Gonna knight bomber. And look at this, guys. Like, archers are so much worse than bomber in this scenario, where we just need the splash value. Gonna go for my Tesla. We should get a lock right now. Yup, misplaced the wall breakers. Very nice for me. Gonna give him the well played because, you know, recruits player, like, I don't like recruits players. I don't think that's a very uh, big secret. So he was well played back. I'll just say thanks, I guess. I, I can tell if he's being sarcastic or not because mine was kind of sarcastic. But just gonna defense vex for now. We've gotten uh, our job done. The deed is done. I've gotten my connection, and all I really have to do is defend and get two fireballs on his tower now. Definitely gonna take a fireball on that. Okay, I missed the firecracker, I think. Unfortunate, but not the end of the world. I'll just log. Log Esprit does kill the Firecracker. Very nice interaction, in case you guys didn't know. Um, Esprit's honestly a very clutch card. I didn't talk about it too much, but I think it does fit best in this deck. Like, I saw Betfist playing with Esprit, and I was just like, okay, I'm going to do what Betfist is doing. So that's why I'm playing Esprit over Ice Spirit. I think in 3.0, Ice Spirit's definitely better, but with this version, I think E is better. Um, and I can't exactly explain why. I guess it's against, like, bats and stuff like that. Um, and also Graveyard, for sure. Like, it helps against Graveyard, too. I'm just going to get my second Tesla down. Cannot choke to those evil wall breakers, and now we just fireball. And it's going to be a good game. I'm just going to say thanks because he's playing recruits. Like, I don't really have any remorse BMing against a recruits player. So we'll definitely take that, guys. Very nice win, and we're going to keep the train of wins going. All right, guys. As you saw, I was 1, 2, 3, 4 in the world. Very satisfying number. But we have to keep it going. We have to get the top 1K. So this is our game for 2.6. Let's see if we can get it. Going to start with an E-Spirit, and he goes bats. Okay. Bats could be a bunch of things. I'll just bomber right away. I might just expo. He's leaking. I'm going to expo. He goes arrows, so he is at 7, so he's kind of low. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Okay, guys. I am really... Okay, I'm going to fireball this. Wait, I might get a lock right now. Hold up. Yeah, beautiful lock. I'm not even being racist right now, guys, but genuinely, like, when you see a Brazilian or a Portuguese player, like this guy, I, I think that's... Like, clan is, like, Portuguese, and the flag is, like, Brazilian or something, but when you see that... And you see the support troops, like, it's Giant Graveyard. Like, I'm being serious. There's so many Brazilian Giant Graveyard players. Oh, wow, I did not know to... Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to Expo, guys. I think he spent his entire Elixir bar right now. I, sh I think I'm, I'm like, fairly certain. I'm, I'm not counting Elixir exactly, but I'm fairly certain. Yeah, nice, perfect. He was just barely not able to get that Giant down in time. So I'm going to go for my Bomber to DPS ASAP. He's going to go Arrows, which is why I'm not going for my Skellies right away. going to wait for the Arrows, then go for my Skeletons. You'll notice, guys. I could have gotten Skeletons early to DPS, but I waited till now so that I would be able to defend after the fact. We will take a bunch of Giant damage. I really hate Giant as a card, honestly. I really don't like it. But that's still going to be a nice little defense, and we are still up by 700. So, I don't know. Giant Graveyard is still a terrible matchup, I think, for all Expo variants, but... Can't complain too much about this lead, but yeah, like Brazilian Portuguese players, guys, they are usually playing Giant Graveyard in this trophy range, especially if you see like Bats, Archers, Dark Prince, like that kind of stuff. Great predict on the LP, gonna predict his ability with my Bomber and Skellies as well. We need a lock right now. I don't think he's back to his arrows either, so I think we got one. Did we get one? Yeah, we get the Evo Bats down. Gonna E Spirit right now. And no, that was a misplay actually. Oh, I messed up, guys. I have to go for a fireball now. Oh, God. Um, my misplay was going e-spirit, because I should have waited for them to cross the bridge, and then go e-spirit, I think. 
Oh, no. Uh, giant, I'm at four. I have to Tesla. He's probably going to graveyard. Yeah, how do I do this? I'm going to log first. Log really late. Then knight, and then e-spirit. See, like, e-spirit's so clutch against graveyard, guys. Watch this. I think it'll save me. Yeah, look at that. It chained on to, like, four things. That said, there's 40 seconds left. I don't know if I can hold, guys. Like, I don't know if I can support my tower with 550. Like, this is really tense. Gonna Tesla to snipe this LP real quick. Oh, great bats. I have to give it to him. That was actually a good play. Like, giant graveyard player actually makes a good play. Damn. Uh, gonna log all of that, though. Evil archers. Oh, no. Uh, bomber. I need to get back to a log for this graveyard ASAP. Gonna e-spirit. Gonna log right now. E-spirit does pretty well. Log. We got it down. We don't take any skelly hits. Oh, my God. Great uh, defense there. And I think I'm alive. Just barely. I think, guys. Oh, my God. There's no way, right? I have to defend this a little bit. Then I go for my fireball. E-spirit as well, just to stall. I think just barely. Oh, my God. There's actually no way. Wow. That is such a clean win. Oh, okay. He gives a good game. Oh, I feel bad for laughing. I'm going to give the game back. That was insane. Wow. Great win against Giant Graveyard. I hate Giant Graveyard with every fiber of my being. We are still not top 1k. Are you serious? Wow. Okay, I thought that would be top 1k, but I guess not. We're going to have to go for probably one more, but still a beautiful win. I'm very proud of that one. All right, guys. So in a game against this uh, Japanese player, and have the good luck, and let's see what we can do. Again, I'm one off the top 1k, I think, so... Okay, Fire Spirit Drill. Wow, not surprising at all. Gonna get a log down on this. Hopefully I can clip the Fire Spirit in time. And of course I can't. I swear, dude. Every single time I go for that log, they go Fire Spirit Drill. I try and log to clip the Goblin and the Fire Spirit. And it just never hits the Fire Spirit in time. Like, it's so dumb. And wow, why does this guy have a Bowler and an Evo Knight? Like, I'm actually getting kind of tilted now. Because Drill is meant to play, like, you know, Royal Ghost. Like, all these versions with Drill. Like, the top ladder one is, like, Royal Ghost, Bandit. Like, very squishy troops. Like, actually a rare good matchup for Expo. But this guy's just like, nope, screw you, Expo. I'm going to play Evo Knight and Bo Bowler. Just, I almost said Bomber. Well, okay, actually, he does have a Bomber, too. Wow, of course. Making it even worse for me. Why wouldn't he? Because um, I was right. Bowler and Bomber. But yeah, like, these are so many Expo counters all together. Very frustrating. Uh, I'm going to Skelly's for the drill. I can just Skelly's log, I think. Then I can, like... I think I can just ignore this, actually. Yeah, great log clipping everything. No hits. I think I can expo right now, and then my bomber might be able to cook. I'll knight to predict a bowler. We got the eye tower. Okay, I'll e-spirit to reset that. And he's going to get a bowler down in time. I already know it. Pretty pretty annoying, yeah. But he goes for it super low. Let me Tesla, actually, because why... W okay, bomber. Uh, Tesla will take that out, though. And you might get a mini lock, guys. Hold up. This is looking good. Low HP expo. Should be able to work. Yeah, wow. Low HP expo is putting in work. Okay, not bad. We get about four, 500 damage there. Not too terrible. And, I mean, we're still down damage in both lanes. Like, left is lower than his left. Right's lower than his right. But we got something going, I guess. But, yeah, this is frustrating, guys. Like, Drill's meant to be a good matchup. And, meanwhile, this guy just is like, nope, screw you. Evo Knight. Evo Bomber. Bowler. Have fun. I'm going to Bomber on this Drill, though. Should be a perfect defense. Yeah, very nice. Just going to go for my Expo now. I have my Evo Tesla coming up, guys. I might be able to cook with that. Hold up. Oh, Esprit to predict a bowler. Great predict going to uh, Evo Tesla as well. And that's going to kill the bowler. Very nice. As you can see, it has this pulse, which does very well. And the stun effect. Going to kite this knight out of expo range. And we get a lock, do we? Fire Spirit comes down in time. Evo Tesla stuns the bomber. And we get a lock. Beautiful. So he was not high enough on Elixir. Going to protect this with everything I have right now. That was a really good play, guys. Very key. You'll notice he went even at opposite. And I went with that trick to cut it out of expo range. And I got a lock for it. If I didn't go for that trick, I do not know what I would have gotten out of that sequence, but because I went for the trick, it ended up working out super well, so definitely going to take that. Good night for this bowler. Don't want it to be on my Tesla and Expo, so should be okay. Going to Bomber as well. He'll get one more hit on the Expo, but now Knight's going to walk up, and that's still a pretty good sequence overall. Tesla will do work on this bowler and the Eye Tower. I'll just Fireball as well, why not? And then I need to log... Um, okay, I think I missed the entire drill with that log, but... That's fine. Okay, he goes for a NATO, so good thing I went Bomber. Um, I'm going to go in again. I have a Tesla helping out. I'm back to my Evo Tesla with how much I'm cycling my Teslas, guys. And, oh my god, he got his knight down too late. That's going to be GG. Wow. He really messed up there. I feel like, okay, maybe that wasn't that bad of a matchup, but I still think it wasn't amazing. Like, the dude has a lot of tanks and an Evo Bomber, but I guess no LP, if I'm not mistaken. And I Tower is pretty bad against Expo, so some silver linings here and there. And that is going to be still, oh my god, still not top 1k. Are you kidding me? 
Okay, guys, I'm in the next match because apparently the game just does not want me to get top 1k. I am not done yet. We are going for one final win to finally cement the top 1k. I'd love to just be done with this, dude. Like, honestly, ladder pushing is fun. Like, obviously, I enjoy competing at the highest level in this game in terms of ladder, at least. Obviously, I'm not playing CRL. I did play in CRL before, but, like, I'm not playing, like, CRL, CRL at, at the top stage. But, like, for me, the highest level of competition at my standard is just top ladder. So, of course, I enjoy it. But at the same time, it does get frustrating when the meta is so annoying. Like, I feel like this is one of the worst metas we've had in quite a while. It's funny how, like, every single season, like, we seem to be saying that. It just keeps getting worse. Like, double evos. Single evos became double evos. Tower troops added. Cannoneer breaking everything. Like, speaking of which, this guy does have a cannoneer right now. Um, mortar comes down. Okay. Let me scale these. And I'm going to have to... How am I going to stop this? I'll knight, I think. That should tank. I'll log. Make sure I hit the mortar with my log. Just push it up by one tile. Skiller dregs are a pain, actually. I don't have any... Oh, bomber? Wow. Uh, let me activate off the bomber. I don't know if he has, like, a miner or something in his deck, but nonetheless, activation should help quite a bit. Um, and we are still winning by 1 HP, guys. Wow. CRL uh, Surgical Goblin versus Morton moment. 1 HP. Can't believe it. Uh, I should clickbait that in the title. But, like, uh, we are still okay because he has a cannoneer, so that's kind of helpful. Gonna bomber for these guards. Get some mortar down. Let me knight. And let me try and get a lock right now, because... I think against Mortar, you really want to try and get a lock in single. I don't think playing Bomber Bow changes that principle from 3.0 too much, so... I'll Tesla right now. Actually, I won't. I think he's going to go, like, Skelly Drags, and then... I think what I can do instead is get back to his second expo and punish him with that. Yeah, I can ignore these Skeleton Dragons, and I think I can just go in with another expo. So I'm going to do that, guys. Let me try and get, like, one Skelly Drag on the expo. Okay, that did not work out at all. Nonetheless, though, we do get a nice uh, situation. going to catch this Miner. Nice catch. going to Skelly's as well. And we should get a lock right now. I think we should get a lock. Yes, we do. Beautiful. Gonna need to predict either guards or mortar or whatever. Very nice. He has arrows in this deck. But we get a nice lock, and that's gonna be crucial again. Because these mortar matchups are pretty hard. Like, as the game progresses, they spam defensive mortars, and uh, they play extremely infuriatingly. So, I'm gonna Tesla. Okay, nice. Skelly can predict. Gonna have to get my knight down in time. Hopefully, in time to catch this mortar and keep keep it off my expo gonna log once more playing my log high enough to make sure i'm hitting that mortar with the log and it should expo should work on the mortar yep even mortar is a huge pain uh oh god i have to fireball okay i should have fireballed asap but i didn't and wow mortar hits okay that's really bad guys as you can see evil mortar can just ruin your entire day because like one 1000 damage lead just turns to nothing in 10 seconds but you should still be okay i think i'm gonna expo he's being very aggressive on offense right now yeah definitely gonna expo um Skellies as well. Guard's gonna get logged, and if you go Skelly Drags, I can just fireball them, so... And I'll, in the meantime, I'll Evo Tesla for this mortar. Make sure it gets taken care of. Um, Ice Spirit for this. Okay, we caught the bomber. Why does that still splash the expo? I'm actually pretty upset about that, guys. Like, I caught the bomber. It was a way off my expo, and it still somehow hits. Anyways, I'm gonna expo in the middle this time, because I want my Tesla to kind of hug it a bit. Like, not really, but I want the Tesla to get some kind of action, maybe. Let me go for the fireball. Ooh, Evo Tesla does kill that Skelly Drag. Beautiful. I think the fireball is still decent, though. Also stuns the Skelly King. Very nice. Gonna get my Tesla down again. We don't really get a lock, but that was good pressure, and I still have a Tesla supporting uh, this lane, so I can block any kind of uh, mortar about to come down. I hesitated on my Skeleton just now, because I was like, wait, he has arrows. He might pre-arrows, so I tried to wait. I just realized, though, I should not have done that. And okay, Mother Witch is super annoying. I think I'm gonna have to actually just Tesla for that, quite frankly. Let me log all these guards and the Evo Bomber. You know, the good thing, though, is that we did force up the Evo Mortar on defense. Like, that is great. Oh, E-Spirit Bomber Skelly. Use nice little sequence here to force him to respond even further. Yep, arrows forced out. Not gonna stop there, guys. I'm gonna keep going. Keep the pressure up, because I just have to. Like, he has such an annoying deck. Gonna Evo Tesla as well. Um, it's gonna do a great job. As you can see, like, normal Tesla does not two-shot Skelly Dragons, but Evo Tesla does, because of that pulse. And I'm gonna go in again. I, I kind of just have to. Like, he's he's playing this very annoying. Like, just spamming on defense and stalling out. This is why Expo needs the buff, guys. Because you just can't break through no matter what you do. Gonna fireball, so I guarantee I get some kind of damage anyways. Skelly's to block the mortar. I think I have to Tesla low for the miner now. Now, my, the, the job is done. I've kind of, like, defended well. Now what I have to do is make sure I don't lose to his upcoming miners. I'm gonna log that bomber. Knight to maybe catch this miner. We do not catch it, but the Tesla does. Gonna Tesla for his evil mortar. And I think we just barely won by the skin of our teeth. Guy's gonna fireball again. Wait, the miner, uh, gonna knight for that. And I think we just barely win. 
Yeah, that should not be on the tower, right? Yeah, it's not. Thank God. Okay, beautiful win, guys. Very clutch one against Mortar. Very annoying matchup, actually. I don't know why he's laughing. Like, he didn't even do anything that special. Like, he spammed on defense all the time and got away with it because Expo is so weak. But I'll take that. I'm very proud of how I played that game, honestly. No answer for Skelly Drags except Farball and Tesla. And that is definitely going to be top 1,000 now. Yep, 949. So we pushed up, guys. A solid about, like, 200 uh, rating points or so in Ultimate Champion League. So that's about it for the ladder push. Hope you guys enjoyed the Bomber Bow. Top 1,000 push. I'm primed for Season End. Season End's in a few days, so I'll be going for the top 1K finish. That's about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Take care, and I will see you in the next one.